Hello and welcome. I am Nitesh Pradhan from Lab Your Multisim. In this session, I will show you how can we acquire digital data. So let's start. Now, first I will open my NI Max. In this NI Max, first let's open the NI Max. Okay, again I am going to open the NI Max. Okay. In this NI Max, you can see here. It's my system here device sorry data neighborhood and device interface in this device and interfaces when you will click okay you will get a virtual DAQ if you are not getting any virtual DAQ so here I am going to show you how can you create a virtual DAQ to learn data acquisition so now right click here come into the create new Come into the simulate, come to simulate NIDAQ max driver or modular instruments. Finish it. It will take few seconds. Now come to the uh, here, come here, right here, six double zero three. Press the OK, then hit the OK button. Now you, you can see here, you will get NI USB 6003. Now you can see you are getting the NI USB 6003. So, and uh, when you will click it, so you will get the uh, reset, self test, test panel, OK, device pinout. So click on the device pinout and let's try to see how many number of channels are available. So now you can see here, it you will get a uh, 8 uh, single ended or four differential analog input and analog output along with that uh, okay you will get this power supply plus minus 5 volt plus 5 volt power supply and also you will get digital input output mod uh, digital IO module okay so now open your lab view and come into the, your lab view in this lab view I will show you how can we acquire the digital data and for that I will use the low level VI so right click here Right click in the block diagram, come into the measurement IO, click on the NIDAQ Max driver. In this NIDAQ Max driver, in this NIDAQ Max driver, you will get create channel. So, first take this create channel, open the label, click here, create and come into the detail input. Click on the detail input. When you will click on the detail input, then you will get some info. So here I am getting I am getting line. So right click create control for the line. After that here I will get the line groups create controls. Okay, line and line groups create control. After that, you can uh, click. You can click here, and you can take the start function. If you do, if you uh, if you want, so you can remove the start functions. Then you will get here the read option, and then you have to come into the clear. Right click, open the label, open the label. Now make a connection like this. What happened to the all program? Now make a connection like this. Okay. Now my program is ready to set to acquire the data. But before going to that, here, right click, come here, right click on the read functions, click here, digital, single channel, single sample, Boolean line. Single channel, single sample, Boolean line. Okay. Before the, uh, uh, single channel, channel, single sample, Boolean line. Now come into the front panel. Now you can see here my program has been, my program is ready. My program is ready to execute. So here, okay. Now here I'm, uh, look at here. You can see here line. Here I'm going to select device. Port 0, line 0, and one channel for all line, no. 
वन चैनल फॉर ईच लाइन वन चैनल फॉर ईच लाइन सेलेक्ट सेलेक्ट वन चैनल फॉर ईच लाइन डिजिटल सिग्नल सॉरी डिजिटल सिंगल चैनल सिंगल सैंपल एंड लाइन ओके वन नाउ राइट क्लिक नाउ राइट क्लिक क्रिएट इंडिकेटर नाउ राइट क्लिक क्रिएट इंडिकेटर सो इट इज अ प्रोग्राम टू एक्वायर योर डेटा इट इज अ प्रोग्राम टू एक्वायर योर डेटा ओके नाउ वेन यू विल रन द प्रोग्राम सो यू विल गेट द डिजिटल डेटा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन दिस प्रोग्राम कंटिन्यूसली सो यू कैन क्लिक हियर एंड यू कैन टेक अ वाइल्ड लू एंड यू कैन प्लेस हियर यू कैन प्लेस योर वाइल्ड लू एंड देन यू कैन क्रिएट अ कंट्रोल लेट्स रन द प्रोग्राम ओके नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नाउ यू कैन सी हियर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव द इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव द सॉफ्टवेयर टाइम फॉर डेटा इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव द लिमिट फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर टाइम फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर फॉर डेटा इक्वेशन सो राइट क्लिक हियर software time so for that right click here come into the timing take a wait functions and click using this we can control the software timing for data equation so now here i am going to do, i am going to give a 10 millisecond delay so each and every second it will get the 100 data and with the one data it will take 1 millisecond delay if you want so you can change it so it is my software time and using this you can easily acquire the data your you can easily acquire the digital data now suppose here in place of digital if i will right click i will come into digital single channel single sample and if i will use this 8 bit sorry u okay u8 if i will use uh, if i will use u8 so after that if i will create a indicator so i will get the data okay i will get the data in the numbers now you can see here i am getting number the data in the in the form of 0 and 1 i am getting the data in the form 0 and 1 okay integers so it is a way to acquire the data digital data now uh, i have clear everything how can you acquire the uh, acquire the voltage data how can you uh, acquire the continuous voltage data after that how can you give you the uh, software time okay software control the uh, software control how can you write a software control uh, function okay to acquire the data so thank you for watching this video